More than 10 million people worldwide are living with Parkinson's and 60,000 are in the U.S. It's a chronic progressive disease, which means it gets worse over time. But a new therapy currently in trials is proving to be a game changer. Houston's only TV health reporter Haley Hernandez has more on the first FDA approved stem cell trial that's actually happening right here in Houston. Haley. Yeah, and that's a really important thing to make it's note to make because there are a lot of claims that are made that stem cells can cure. And the truth is it has not been well studied until now. This is the first FDA approved trial and it is happening at UT Health. It's a blinded study, so participants do not know if they're getting the real treatment or a placebo. But for Marty Young in the Woodlands, he's pretty sure he knows which category he's in. Marty Young has led a busy life, working, enjoying family and flying, all things he loved to stay busy with, all while Parkinson's progressed. <laughs> Recently, things like snapping are a big accomplishment. This movement had been lost with the disease, but Marty has regained a tremendous amount of movement and stability. You start to shuffle your feet. Most of that's gone away as a result of the stem cell. In the trial led by Dr. Maya Shees, Parkinson's patients are injected with stem cells and followed for a year. So far, she says they're seeing incredible improvements. Huge differences in uh, the responses and in the rating scales. The stem cells are, have just tremendous potential and there's no, there's no reason not to truly believe that ultimately when we get them in maybe in the right form from the right tissue, et cetera, that we're going to have a, a very powerful um, treatment. Marty believes this has relieved him of many symptoms, including a bonus of curing his knee pain moments after the stem cell transplant. I have no, no pain in that knee, and to this day I have no pain in that knee. Oh, wow. Now, they were trying to get this, they were trying to get the stem cells in my brain and it went to my knee, so... <laughs> While laughter is the best medicine, none of this has been a cure. Even still, he wants to help find answers. Find a cure for the people that suffer from this. I'd do anything I could to help those people. And now a phase two trial is in the works and they started recruiting for that in March. The idea is that if phase two and then a possible phase three are a success, they should learn a lot about how the stem cells interact with Parkinson's and then the proper dosing of the stem cells. And that could come ultimately in the next three to five years. Keith? We are hoping for success there. Haley, thank you. Definitely.